After about 18 hours of counting, the picture of the result in Bihar became very clear. The NDA managed to retain the power with 125 seats, but the party that suffered the most was Nitish Kumar's JDU. The party lost 28 seats compared to the last time and came down to 43 seats. At the same time, BJP won 74 seats with a gain of 21 seats. The RJD emerged as the single largest party winning 75 seats and the Grand Alliance led by Tejasvi Yadav received 110 seats. Earlier in the trends, the NDA touched the majority mark at 10.30 am in the morning but the picture changed about 8 hours later around half past 6 in the evening. NDA dropped from 134 to 120. However, two hours later, it again crossed the majority mark in the trends with an increase of 123 seats. The margin of the votes in 23 seats was less than 2,000, so the seats of NDA continued to be less than the majority late evening. Shivran Singh Jyotiraditya Sindhya had a successful run in the by-election in 28 seats of Madhya Pradesh. Results for all the 28 seats have now been declared. Of these, BJP has won 19 seats and the Congress party has won 9 seats. In the 2018 assembly elections, Congress won 27 of these seats. 14 ministers of the Shivrat Singh government, including two former ministers, had contested. Of these, 11 ministers have won. On the other hand, there was a big jolt to the party in Dabra, Dimani and Sumavali seats. Ministers Imarti Devi from Dabra, Andal Singh Kansana from Sumavali and Giriraj Dandotia from Dimni lost the election. On the results of the by-election, Kamal Nath said that we accept the people's mandate and we tried our best to reach the public. However, now we will fulfill our responsibilities by remaining in opposition. On the other hand, Chief Minister of the State Shivraj Singh Chauhan tweeted and said that he wishes all the winning candidates and those who could not succeed should not be desperate. Their struggle for public interest should continue. Suburban train services resumed in West Bengal on Wednesday after more than seven months due to the coronavirus pandemic. Operations resumed with authorities maintaining a strict vigil and passengers largely adhering to COVID-19 protocol. The local train services under the jurisdiction of the Eastern and Southern Eastern Railways resumed early in the morning. They were suspended in March following the COVID-19 outbreak. The EMU trains were not chock-a-block as was the usual scene during pre-COVID times, but the passenger footfall is expected to increase gradually as the expensive public transport is preferred by many living in the suburbs. The centre has issued orders bringing online films and audiovisual programmes made available by the online content providers and online news and current affairs content under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. In a notification issued on November 9, declaring that the President has signed the order to include online films, digital news and current affairs content under the purview of INB Ministry, headed by Union Minister Prakash Javdekar. Streaming platforms such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hotstar will also now be governed by the INB ministry headed by Prakash Javdekar. INB ministry sources told news channels that this is simply bringing the content from under the purview of IT to INB. OTT though is a new platform where concern against content could not be raised with the government earlier which will now be possible and INB now will be the nodal ministry. The International Space Station, three NASA crew and one Japanese astronaut will be launched aboard a SpaceX rocket on Saturday bound for the ISS. NASA on Tuesday officially certified as safe the Crew Dragon capsule developed by regular astronaut transportation by SpaceX, the company which was founded by Elon Musk that carried two astronauts to the ISS in May and back to Earth again in the month of August without major incident. I am extremely proud to say that we are returning regular human space flight launches to American soil on an American rocket and spacecraft, the NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine said. Now be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app. Go on your Android or iOS, search for HW News Network, download our app, Choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news.